One of the biggest mysteries to date is how the binary system is formed. How everything is so precise and perfect. Another is black holes. Black holes are such a mystery, as we know very little about them. There are so many questions. What makes a black hole? What happens when a black hole swallows a star? Are black holes wormholes? They are all very good questions but there's one that stuck out. What is the closest black hole to Earth? Well, the nearest known black hole to Earth has been discovered by experts and it's two times as close as the black hole that was previously thought to be the closest. The space-time singularity known as Gaia BH1 is approximately 10 times as massive as our Sun and is 1,566 light-years away in the constellation Ophiuchus. It is sufficiently close to our planet to be referred to as in our cosmic garden. BH1 of Gaia is not alone, it is a member of a binary system that revolves around a Sun-like star at about the same distance as Earth does around the Sun. The system was first observed in the Milky Way and was described in a study published on November 4th in the Royal Astronomical Society Journal Monthly Notices. In the statement, lead author Karim Obadri, an astrophysicist at the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy in Germany and the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics in Massachusetts, stated, while there have been many claimed detections of systems like this, almost all these discoveries have subsequently been refuted. This is the first time that a Sun-like star in a wide orbit around a stellar mass black hole in our galaxy has been observed. Large stars with masses roughly 5 to 10 times that of the Sun serve as the foundation for black holes. In their burning course, larger stars fuse increasingly heavier elements like silicon or magnesium as they approach their end of life. However, the star is bound for violent self-destruction once this fusion process begins to form iron. The star is no longer able to withstand the immense gravitational forces produced by its enormous mass because iron requires more energy to fuse than it releases. Before it collapses in on itself, it explodes outward and compresses both its core and the surrounding matter into a singularity of infinite dimensions and density. Nothing, not even light can escape the new black hole's gravitational pull beyond an area known as the event horizon. A dark heart surrounded by a ring of fuzzy, warped light indicates feeding black holes. Matter from nearby stars, planets, and nebulae is the source of this halo. It is slowly being taken away and shredded. However, not all black holes are feeding and it takes a complex strategy to locate these dormant giants among the approximately 100 million stellar mass black holes that are thought to be lurking in the Milky Way. The European Space Agency's Gaia spacecraft, which has been mapping the positions and movements of the Milky Way's roughly 2 billion stars, was used by the researchers to narrow in on the nearby black hole. The astronomers looked through Gaia's data and discovered one star that appeared to have a distinct wobble a slight limp in its normally smooth path. The researchers were under the impression that a black hole was to blame for the baffling wobble. The researchers used ground-based telescopes like Gemini North and Keck 1 in Hawaii and Magellan Clay and MPG slash ESO in Chile to verify this. The star was being pulled at by a massive, unseen object, according to in-depth observations. Our Gemini follow-up observations proved beyond a reasonable doubt that the binary has at least one dormant black hole and a normal star. The framework is likewise fascinating because the dark opening might have begun from a star multiple times more huge than our Sun. Typically, at the end of their lives, such massive beings expand outward, devouring everything in their path, and then collapse inward, leaving behind a black hole. According to the researchers, this process ought to have consumed the star companion of the black hole or at least yanked it into a much tighter orbit. However, it appears to still be intact and orbiting at a fair distance. The next challenge for astronomers is to figure out how this happened. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section. And if you enjoy our content, and never want to miss a video, hit the subscribe button.
Thank you for watching.